Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Iron Man 3406 here. If this is your first time tuning in the channel, my name is Nathan. Thanks for stopping by. Um, if you've been following along a couple past videos, we've been getting the canopy off and starting to tear into the engine on our Caterpillar 60. We are going to get into trying to get some of these heads off so we can get a look at what the top of the pistons look like. This engine is currently the way it sits, uh, stuck. It's not turning, so we need to get in there and see what's going on, figure out what we need, what we can salvage between two engines and and uh, make a good run in 60. So I think first couple things I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna get these water jacket pipes taken off so they're out of the way. You know, some of these junky brackets, I don't know what that was for at one point, somebody manufactured it up. Uh, we'll get this water pipe off and out of the way. You know, what's left of the pre-combustion, pre um, valves, we get those off if if we if I can, and then after that, we'll start taking rockers off, getting push rods out, and then we'll uh, get some head bolts loosened off, and we will start lifting these big old ugly heads off. So stay tuned. Broken flange. So we got those water bonnets off out of the way. Kind of hard to see down in there, but uh, definitely some rust in the water jackets. Not surprising though. So, uh, alrighty, we will tackle this water pipe now. critters managed to find their way into the water jackets in these jugs. I don't know how they finger find their way into these places, but they always manage to get in. So, 
onto pre-combustion valves. Some good old number nine wire. We'll fix anything with that stuff. Let's get on to some rocker shafts. Seized. Seized, seized. But that's just how it goes with this old stuff. Okay, so we got the rocker shafts off, the push rods out. Push rods were definitely in there a little bit rusty. Had to get some oil in there and work them back and forth a whole bunch before they freed up. But regardless, got them all out. Now it's on to head bolts and getting all the head bolts undone. So we'll get those rattled out with the old impact and see if we can't start lifting these heads off, which are, by the way, super heavy. So yeah, we'll uh, get the camera zoomed in here somewhere. 
heads like that, maybe. Oh, and by the way, Luke, the chrome socket's on the impact just for you, buddy. Very strange head bolt washers. They're all broken and chunked off. I don't know, that's weird. Look at this one. Bizarre. I don't know that those are correct, true, and proper head bolt washers. Or head nut washers. Like. Now, from past experience taking these heads off, they uh, tend to get a little sticky on these studs. So we'll give them a little oil, let it soak down and run down, then we'll give them a little lubrication. Okay, well, here we go. Get out the grunt pump. Number two came off. It's actually the easiest cylinder head I've ever taken off of a 60. You can see the, all the rust on those studs. That's what you're usually finding when you try to bring it up. Um, you know, I say number two is definitely stuck. There's a lot of rust on that there cylinder. I'm just about betting that they all look like that. But. I'm going to keep dicking around with number one here. When I get it off, I'll bring it back. All right, gang, I got number one off, number one head off. Um, doesn't look, it actually looks worse than number two. So, so far we're, you know, not in good shape really for uh, our pistons and whatnot. So I'm going to keep going on the back too. some assistance. And there's our first look at the top of number four. This one looks about the same 
is number two as far as rust on the camera here. <clears throat> so, one stubborn one left, and then we can really give things an assessment here. heavy jobs out of the way here's number three again probably about the same condition as numbers two and four number one looks to be about the worst but uh, yeah next step will be to uh, get into these side panels on the engine get connecting rod caps off start trying to get some pistons out of this thing depending on how rusted things are and seized we um, may have to pull the entire jug with the piston all as one assembly I hope not but we shall see so um, yeah got all the heads off I gotta take the gaskets off of these two yet um, but let's go down, have a look at the heads themselves real quick. All right, so as we're looking at these, we got one, two, three, four, just like the order up on the top of the tractor. So, um, you know, we got some rusty looking valves on number one, rusty valves on number two, a rusty valve on number three, and a fairly significantly rusted valve on number four. Um, have to think that those are all the same valves. I think those are all the intake valves. I don't know for sure. I should have made note of that. Um, nope, sorry, those are exhaust valves. So all these ones that are a little bit rusty, those are all exhaust valves. Um, so it's, you know, inside the piston chambers, it doesn't look too bad, really. A little bit of cleaning and Probably have to get the valves reground, um, but we've got four other heads off the other 60 engines. So, as far as parts and pieces and what we uh, are going to need for valves and whatever, we should have enough stuff, hopefully, to uh, make a good set of heads. So, everybody, this is going to wrap up part three of the 60 engine teardown here. Um, got a lot done, got everything down to the top of the jugs like I had wanted to. So with that, I'm going to sign off. Again, like, subscribe, follow along if you're interested in watching us get a 60 run in here. Uh, we're pretty excited about it. We've got two to hopefully build one out of. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. The next episode, as I mentioned, we're going to get into the bottom end of this thing. Start dealing with some connecting rod caps and hopefully get jugs and stuff off so uh, i thank you for watching my name is nathan again uh, iron man 3406 please don't forget to like the video if you liked it i really appreciate that it means a lot to the channel and i'll see you guys next time but don't forget i'm iron man ciao